I was able to sneak out for a ride yesterday in Calistoga, Oat Hill Mine. It was fantastic. Today it's rainy, so I thought it'd be a good time to take you guys through everything I carry in my bag. So first and foremost, I've got my Osprey Raptor 14. I've had this thing for years now. I've taken it all over the world. It is battered, it is bruised, but it's still the workhorse and it's the bag I trust on every single ride. So let's just start unzipping this thing and seeing what's in here. Got some BKXE stickers. If you ever see me on the trail, I'll give you one. Got my 29er tube. Got my little tool roll here. Genuine Innovations tubeless tackle kit. It has the little plug thingy. So you, you take this out, you take one of these little bacon strip sticky things and you stick it in your tire, you pull it out and it plugs up a hole. And I just used it in a recent video in Prescott and uh, I think it, it worked out pretty well. I still have that plug in the, in the tire and it's holding. I also have a couple little uh, valve cores. I don't know if I really need to bring these on every ride, but they're not that heavy compared to this thing. This thing's pretty heavy actually. And this thing has a little valve core remover tool in the bottom. These Pedro tire levers are always the right tool for the job. My multi-tool has a dinky little tire lever on it, but this is so much better. And uh, they've saved me many times. I just started bringing this little thing. It's a 1.5 hex head and uh, to tighten up my gimbal screws. If my gimbal screws get loose, it blows up the ride. So I've got this with me at all times, along with a lot of Loctite in all the screws. Got myself a nice little spare derailleur hanger for the Orbea Rayon that I'm riding right now. And this is one of my favorite little things. So this is the little tin. It was a little patch repair kit that came with the active trail pump. They don't make it anymore. It was on Amazon. It was sold by my buddy Carl from Australia. So I think I've got the patch kit in here somewhere, but really it's to store an extra brake pad and my quick links. So they're in there, kind of hard to see, but it's so much better than having this stuff rattle around. I love having this little tin to hold everything tight. And yeah, it rattles a little bit, but when stuff is really loose inside your bag, it starts to wear on each other and it starts to really flake off the metal and cause damage. So I'm, I really trust that these everything in here is very solid and not getting messed up. And apparently I'm keeping a valve cap as well. <laughs> Who knew? I'm also carrying as many batteries as I can possibly handle and an extra SD card and uh, yeah, gotta keep, gotta keep fueled up for the ride. On that same note, I'm always bringing along my Evo SS gimbal, my Stuntman chest mount, and my Hero 4 Black. This is, this is it. I'm sure some of you are always curious of how I have my camera rigged up. There you go. Pause it. Study it. And I'm always carrying this little GoPro tool to make sure that this is nice and tight, and I think right now it's actually not as tight as it should be. Yep, see? If you've got any wiggle room on this thing, it's bad. You gotta keep it nice and tight. Got my Topeak Mini 20 multi-tool. This thing is a beast. It's really, really solid. I was making fun of the, the little tire lever earlier. That's about the only thing that kind of sucks about this thing. But uh, everything else, this, is, this fits my pedals. Just lots of good stuff. Chain breaker tool come in handy many many times on the trail don't leave home without it the one tool that i don't have on me is a quick link tool to actually break the chain at the quick link so yeah but i've seen little videos you could use a shoelace it's super easy that's one thing that's missing from this tool that uh, i'd like to have one thing that I like to carry a lot of are these little microfiber bags. I found these on Amazon. I forget how much they were, but I think it's like five bags for 12 bucks, something like that. I put the camera inside. I also use it as a lens wiper. I can put my uh, glasses, all kinds of stuff. They're very, very useful. And speaking of glasses, I got my new Oakley Flak 2.0 custom glasses. My buddy Kev uh, so graciously gifted to me. I've got a little BKXC right there. Pretty awesome. The support of the fans of the channel is what keeps this going. And uh, I am always grateful to you guys who get a kick out of this thing. I'm no longer carrying a shock pump. I, I figure that's something you need to mess with before your ride, not during your ride. And hopefully my shock isn't so messed up that I need to constantly play with it. Got some zip ties, of course. A lot of people suggested this last year when I made this same video. And I've got my active trail gear pump. Like I was saying, they don't make it anymore, but it's a very, very solid pump. 
Uh, my buddy Seth likes to use the Crank Brothers Click, and I'll link to that in the description. He likes it, it works, but yeah, since you can't buy this thing anymore, you might have to get your own suggested pump. And I also have Gorilla Tape wrapped around the handle here so I can use little pieces if I find myself in a jam. And finally, I've got this little adventure medical kit. And uh, you know, it's got all the normal stuff, bandages and gauze and alcohol wipes. And even more than that, there's a link in the description if you want to click and actually see what's going on with this thing. But the main thing that I got it for was the tweezers and the tick puller. <laughs> this little thing right here, if you get a tick on you, you can pop it off with the little triangle or you can pull out, you know, cactus cactus needles like Sid in one of my recent videos <laughs> had a bunch in her leg and she used this. So it's about time I carried actual real life uh medical gear. And of course, I'm always bringing my phone and my wallet and my keys along with me on a ride. And I use my phone to record my rides on Strava because I'm still a cheap ass and I have not spent the money to get a proper bicycle computer. <laughs> maybe maybe one will come along eventually that I'll actually like. I've been looking at the Apple Watch with the heart rate monitor and all that stuff, but that's neither here nor there. So what kind of stuff do you guys carry on your ride? I'm always curious to know that this entire channel is like a crowdsource thing. You guys tell me like where to go ride, what to carry in my bag, and it has worked out so well to have this community of people that uh, are all looking out for each other and that have so many positive vibes. All right, I'm getting hippie now. I'm getting all hippy dippy. So uh, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you on the trail.